Hi guys! Hi guys. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Paw Palace. Palace. So in today's video, we are going to be kind of talking about like our summer businesses, I guess. Like, so when the video starts, you'll be able to understand it a little bit more. So yeah. Yeah. And we're going to be kind of talking about our summer businesses and pets and just stuff like that. That we do in the summer. Because we actually do a lot of things outside in the summer because we are very outdoorsy people. But in the winter, we're kind of outdoorsy, but not as much as we are in the summer. So let's get started. That's what I say in Paw Palace, but yeah. So the first summer activity pet thing that we do is our dog walking business, which is the first business that we have done out of all of our little businessy activity thingies. Uh, so, and it's like a business because we get money from it and it's just really fun to walk dogs. So Gabby is going to tell you how many dogs we walk. Um, we walk 12 dogs around our neighborhood. Um, so I'm going to be breeding crickets this summer, which I'm really excited about. I don't have any reptiles to feed it to, but I'll probably be either selling it or just giving it to neighbors. And I honestly just kind of want to have fun with more, like, animal things to do. And, um, if we rescue frogs, which I'll be talking, we'll be talking about later, um, then we can probably give it to them. But yeah, so that's, um, something I'll be doing this summer. Okay, and then I will be caring for, um inchworms like I call it my inchworm farm I guess but Gabby gets a lot of inchworms on her swing set outside um so I want since she's doing like the cricket breeding then I'll just do my inchworm farm I, it's, I don't exactly know how to like breed inchworms and I'm not gonna be feeding them to anything because they're just from outside so they'll be outside of my house just on my in my just outside, um, and I'll just, like, have as many as I can find, um, and I'll give them, like, a lot of things to do, and then I'll probably be setting them free after, like, a week of having them, probably, because I don't want to keep them for too long. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to talk about is toad rehoming, which is just, she was talking about, about feeding the crickets to the toads. So, toads get stuck in window wells very easily because they just hop right into them and then they get stuck so i'm planning on like taking them from there from the window well and um taking them to our local park and setting them free um down in this really great toad and frog area so yeah i'm gonna be rehoming toads from my window well and i have like a little um, koi pond in my yard, so then s sometimes frogs get stuck in there and they're trying to swim, and honestly, I find a lot of dead frogs in there sometimes, but many times I'll find an alive one too, so I just use like a net to get it out, and then I will rehome it to our local park, just like her. So, um, I am going to be doing like this little, so we have cicadas, they make very annoying noises, um, <laughs> but that's not the reason that I'm going to be caring for them. The reason I'm going to be caring for them is after they shed, um, they, after they shed their wings, um, aren't, they aren't ready to fly, so there's more of a chance of them, um, getting eaten or getting hurt, so I'm going to be giving them, like, a little sanctuary <laughs> or something like that, um, where they can, like, dry out their wings and then I'll leave it halfway open so they can keep them themselves safe underneath one part and then they can fly out the other part. So I'm going to be putting, like, a stick up to the part where they can fly away. When they're ready, they can fly away or they could just leave. I'm just doing it just so they can, um, just so they can, um, recover from, I mean, it's not really recovering, but yeah. So this is something that kind of comes naturally that we do in the summer is pe people's animals, like dogs and cats, run away um, in the summer. Um, so we'll just be doing like a little, I mean, this won't happen a lot and it's not really a business since it just comes naturally like, oh no, a cat ran away. <laughs> um, but so we'll like have treats on hand, like cat treats and dog treats on hand with us. Um, whenever we're outside or doing dog walking and stuff. Um, 
so they can trust us when we come up to them so we can because we need to get close to them when you check the tag to see the phone number or the address um so then we'll have a leash with us so we can put them on the leash um and then we can walk them safely home or call the phone number and then we'll also have water with us because and like a, maybe a small little tin for them to drink out of just because you never really know how long they've been out and sometimes it's a hard to find an address so we'll just have all those things with us to keep them just like just so it's easier okay well some stories of pets that have been lost that um you save yeah well, save but like gave mm. back. okay so um there's been like a cat um someone that we've actually walked a dog walks cat mm -hmm. um and she was down and then we uh my family like this was a few years ago um we called animal control but just at that moment we found out that the neighbor was the actual owner of the cat so that was pretty fun <laughs> and the cat was like so sweet he was just following me wherever i went and like i had to go inside to get him water um and he just tried to follow me inside but my mom was like no. So, um, then also, then there was also a time very, quite recently actually, like when COVID first started, that there were like two dogs in my yard and my nephew actually came up to me and said, there's a doggy in the yard. And I was like, ha, huh, you're just kidding. But you know, I went down just to make sure. And, um, he was right. There were like two dogs in our yard. And, um, I was like, wow, you told the truth. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> he makes up funny stories all the time. Yeah. Because he's young. He's funny. So. Yeah. <laughs> and so then I put them both on big retractable leashes uh, because I have a lot of leashes. Yes, she really does. I mean, honestly, we could probably do a whole video of her collection of leashes. Most yeah. of them from the dollar store. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyways, then we got them back home, and they were very sweet little dogs. And there was, like, one time when I sort of, like, did something about an animal. It was when I just was on a walk, and these two dogs, they might have actually been the same dogs from the last story, came up to me, and I was like, like, I was a little bit scared, just since they were big dogs, and I was, like, all alone. But they were really nice, so... Then I just kind of followed them because they went to another yard and then there were some neighbors out. So I went through the yard and they were like, oh, um, we've got, this, we've got the dogs. So like, I was like, yay, okay, good. Um, so something else that we like to do in the summer is put up a lemonade stand and about half of the money goes to animal shelters and well, one animal shelter in particular, but um, then last year, um, Izzy and I and her brother um, did the lemonade stand, and so we just divide half of the money between us, and then the rest goes to the Humane Society, and then uh, this year we're gonna do the same thing, but like I don't know if her brother will be with us, but yeah, we don't exactly know because he kind of just did it at the last second. And he was like, yeah, I want to do that, duh. So, <laughs> yeah, we have some pictures of that. It was cute. <laughs> so, yeah. we got a couple customers, but most of them were your dad lured in a lot of 